There you go. So guys, my name is Miranda Sarte. I'm the CEO of Latam Startups. And today we have a webinar about our programs, our community, our opportunities to be a part of our community. And we really like to have, uh, you know, um, a, any questions, comments that you have about our webinar. We are also live in Facebook, um, you know, and uh, we are very excited to have you here today. Uh, I'm just uh, giving the heads up that maybe some people will be entering a little bit late uh, due to the problem with the link, but hopefully, uh, you know, everything will be uh, okay, um, you know, for the rest of the webinar. So the first thing is that I'm going to speak about our programs. Uh, Latam Startups is a community of international startups. Most of the startups are coming from uh, emerging markets. Um, as you can see, the name is Latam, uh, but uh, you know we have a different type of uh, you know startups from India, Pakistan, uh, you know Poland, so many different other places. Um, so, when I started from Brussels, so, uh, thank you all for being here. Um, so, uh, the first thing is that uh, we have, uh, you know, our programs, and we do get lots of questions about our programs. Uh, so, I'm going to start uh, with the ones that are most popular here. <laughs> uh, so, if you go to our programs, the first program we get questions kind of almost every day is that, um, you know, the Startup Visa program. This is a program that was uh, created by the government of Canada back in 2013 as a pilot project. And the pilot consisted in to bring international startups to Canada and, uh, you know, uh, give up to five co-founders with a permanent residence visa. Many people get very excited because of course it's a permanent residence visa and it's an opportunity as well uh, to help uh, you know, uh, people to bring their companies to Canada. But precisely because of that, um, you know, it's not an easy program. Uh, the letter of support that is given by a designated organization is what you hear it is. It's a letter that supports your case but not a, it's, it's not by any means that is going to be, uh, you know, warranty a visa. Of course, we're trying to do our best, uh, you know, for the, for the startups that come a part of the program to become permanent residents. And actually, you know, by yesterday, we got one of them that just got their permanent residence. So we are really excited, um, you know, for uh, that news. Um, so far, we have uh, about 40 startups in a set of visa program right now, uh, since 2019, when we became designated organization for the government of Canada. Uh, so the first thing that I have to say that, you know, uh, I have to address many questions that people have about this program, but, uh, you know, you will find the most common questions in our website. Uh, you know, if you go to frequent ask questions, you will see there many of the questions that you may have about uh, this particular program. Uh, so again, the first thing that I have to say is that in order to become eligible for this program in our um, accelerator, you have to have a, a technology company with an innovative, uh, you know, product. Um, so this sometimes is something that is linked with intellectual property. People in emerging markets sometimes they have some questions in regards of intellectual property. Uh, you know, they they sometimes a little bit confused because, of course, you know, the requirements are not easy. Um, it's not that you have to have right now intellectual property, but you need to be able to claim intellectual property uh, through the process. So what that means is that, you know, is, is not necessarily related with trademarks. Many people sometimes are, uh, you know, thinking that trademarks is enough. For instead of visa program, we are looking for copyrights or patents, uh, you know, for people that can actually claim that not right now, patents can take years, you know, to, uh, to actually get claimed but uh, be able to claim them in the future, you know, have the proprietary um, information of your company, you know, in order to claim uh, that patent or copyright. So that's kind of a very important criteria that you see here, technology company with intellectual property, what that is what that means. 
we actually gave a little bit of explanation what is a, a you know intellectual property and what is an intellectual property strategy which is the first thing that we have uh, you know as a question at the beginning now the other uh, criteria that you see here is that uh, the company requires to be financially stable the reason why is because uh, you know companies that are aiming to enter to start a visa program will be required by the government of canada that you have enough funding to um, a, you know, sustain your company operational manner uh, for one year. So for us, it's very important that your company already have some sales traction or some investment traction. You have enough funding to operate in Canada. Being said that, it's important to understand that we are not receiving companies in ideation. Uh, so we need to have minimum, uh, you know, minimum value of product and a, uh, you know, something that is already work in progress in uh, their home country. So most of the companies that enter to our programs, they already have sales, they already have customers. So um, let's say the average is kind of two hundred thousand dollars a year, up to ten million dollars a year. That's kind of the range that we see in the companies that are coming with us. Uh, so we have many companies, they, they come to us and they say, well, you know, I already have sales traction, my company is in two, three million dollars a year, you know, in revenue, and we feel like, you know, the first phase of the program is a little bit too basic for us. Um, this part of the program is very important for us, it's very important for the process because it's validating your assumptions in what is the market entry strategy and what should be uh, you know, the uh, profile of the customer. Um, it's important for us to understand what you are um, you know, thinking uh, in entering into Canada. You know? um, many of those assumptions are validated in this phase, which is, which is a short phase, it's one month phase, uh, but it helps us also to understand better your business, understand better your competitors, understand what you are aiming on you know, coming to Canada. So that's, that's the first part. Um, uh, you know, we are also looking for, uh, you know, for this particular program for startups that are relocated in, uh, in Canada, for sure. You know, like in, uh, the other question that we have is that when you have like a five, uh, four co-founders, uh, you know, all of them have to relocate. No, not all of them have to relocate, but you have to make sure that, uh, you know, those that are willing to relocate they don't, uh, you know, um, basically um, quit during the process, you know, once the letter of support is given, they have to continue the process until, uh, you know, the process ends. Um, so that's basically uh, how a startup visa path work. Uh, so we now are going to start with a new uh, cohort in February 13th. Um, we close applications already, but very soon we are going to open applications again for uh, phase one, and that's for the new group entering in May, at the end of May. Uh, so if any one of you have uh, any questions about this program, uh, please put it in the chat, and I'm more than happy uh, to answer any questions or just open your mic, and I'll be uh, happy to answer those questions. And for those that are in Facebook, uh, please just put it in Facebook in the comments, and we will review it and for sure get back to you for any questions that you have in that regards. Okay, so um, finalizing the comments about the Startup Visa program, we just uh, make sure that, you know, we are very excited always to have the companies that we have. If we select companies into this program, it's because we believe that these companies are scalable. It's because we believe that they can actually, uh, you know, do um, a very good job entering into North America. Uh, so that's kind of my last comment in what is the startup visa path. And again, any questions or comments, just please uh, put in the chat. Now I'm going to go to the corporate program very fast. Uh, you know, the corporate program imitates basically the structure of a startup visa program in the third level. So this is like the phase three of a startup visa program has kind of the same, uh, you know, offer. The only difference for these companies is that co-founders are not aiming to come to Canada and reside in Canada. They are not aiming to immigrate uh, to the country. Uh, so for this reason, you know, this program is not necessary for uh, people that are um, 
uh, you know, um, intending to move to North America per se. Uh -huh. So uh, these companies are coming more to open second headquarters uh, in Canada. And this is the reason why we basically imitate what is, uh, you know, the phase three startup, startup path. And then people can just, uh, you know, basically, uh, you know, receive the same services. Uh, it's a little bit more customized too. So because, you know, companies enter into this program, didn't do, uh, you know, phase one and phase two, then, you know, we kind of do uh, kind of redo at the beginning of the program. Uh, but we need to, again, hear the company, hear what are the plans. We cannot help all companies or all type of companies. We specialize in technology and especially technology companies that we really have a specific innovation uh, in the market. So that's the corporate program. As you can see here, we have another uh, couple of programs. I'm not going to go too deep on these ones, but I have to say that we are very excited about these other two that I'm going to name here very quick. Uh, the Rio Escala Bootcamp is a bootcamp we are doing in Rio de Janeiro uh, this May. Um, for those of you that are probably attending you know, Web Summit, uh, we are very excited because we are going to be there. And, uh, you know, we have been due to go to uh, Rio de Janeiro for a long time. <laughs> so um, we are providing a, a bootcamp there, uh, connecting you with experts, uh, market experts, uh, mentors in Rio de Janeiro that can help you to enter your company uh, to Brazil. Uh, if you are curious about this bootcamp, please go to the website. You just have to register. This is the agenda. We have an optional ecosystem tour, and we are very looking forward to this in May. Uh, the other uh, program that we have, and this is more for uh, people that are thinking to put together a technology company that is scalable from the beginning, is the Build Up a Scale Up program. This program is for ideation to commercialization, is not linked with uh, immigration process, uh, and is due to apply by February 25th. So if some of you are like new in the market, new into uh, thinking into put together a company, maybe this is the program for you. Uh, so just go here, uh, you know, you can actually uh, grab all the information in this part. And then if you have more questions for sure, you can put in the chat again or just open your mic. Uh, so about the other programs, these are more programs for uh, companies that are already newcomers for the ones that are already uh, permanent residents or citizens, new citizens in Canada. Again, imitates a start visa program in level three. But, uh, you know, the difference is that, uh, you know, co-founders are already in Canada and we are helping them with the support of IRAP, which is a federal organization from the government of Canada that is supporting this program. Uh, now, the other program that you see here is the Hamilton Nayama, Niagara Bootcamp. This is another program that uh, we have, uh, you know, along with the city of Hamilton and city of Niagara. And it's a program that probably is going to happen at the, in the second semester of uh, this year. We have done already two editions of this program, and we are hoping that, you know, companies will apply also for this third edition of the program and go and visit the Niagara and Hamilton region, which is very close uh, to, um, you know, Toronto. So uh, for some of you that are a little bit curious about, you know, what type of status we receive in our community, you actually can go to our uh, alumni, uh, you know, portfolio. You will see here, uh, you know, all the companies that have passed through the programs. And, uh, you know, it, we don't have all the profiles of the companies from phase one, we have just those that have been in phase two on, on the acceleration programs. Um, so if you have any questions about, you know, if maybe my company is in the right profile uh, or not, you know, you will find here most of the profiles that we normally receive in our uh, portfolio. Um, worth it to say that in this portfolio, we have two unicorns, uh, which one is Kona and the other is Cloudwalk. Uh, so you can look at them, those two unicorns, one is from Uruguay, one is from Brazil. They enter into our programs or from phase one up to phase three, at least one of them uh, finished in phase three, the other finished uh, phase two. 
and uh, you know very proud of those cases uh, if you want to hear a little bit more about those cases you can see it here in the news and uh, you will hear also from the other companies that are a part of our programs and how they are scaling up in North America. Um, for some other information that you are going to find about uh, in our website, uh, you know, if you want to know who is our team, you know, who is our board of directors, uh, you know, you will find that information in our website. You can connect with us in LinkedIn. More than happy to connect with you guys. You also can connect with our, you know, see fractionals, uh, business mentors, market experimenters. They are all here. Uh, you know, you can see their profile and what they are doing for our companies. And finally, uh, is the part of the events. Um, we have events, for example, the one that is happening today is the info session, but we have events in person and we have events online. So most this year, we are having a lot of events in person again. Uh, the next one is very excited. Uh, Colombian the Spotlight is coming up. Uh, you know, we have Latin American the Spotlights and we are releasing some white papers with information about Latin American startup ecosystems, uh, you know, six or seven different uh, Latin American startup ecosystems. So you want to visit our office and maybe have a good time with us, you know, and have good food and drinks from this country. Just please come and have a nice networking with us. Uh, here's the Rio Scala Bootcamp 2 and a, our annual conference as well is here. Uh, so always, you know, please check uh, information in our uh, website about events. If you're a part of our newsletter, you will see this information also in our newsletter. Uh, you know, very often we um, pass information uh, about all this. Our new white papers are uh, in here. Uh, so if you're curious about these other markets, you can actually see here, you know, the white papers that we have and the old ones uh, that we have for uh, from other, uh, other editions. Um, please make sure that, you know, um, a, uh, you know, this, this white paper, sorry, are coming up because it's the, the events that are coming up very, very soon. So we just released the white papers, you know, um, one or two days before the event. And finally, finally, uh, you know, some people want to actually um, work with us. Um, we are going to open applications very soon for people that want to become a market intern, marketing intern in our uh, community. Uh, so this is, um, you know, something that we're looking in, per in particular for people based in Toronto. Unfortunately, we cannot, you know, hire online for this particular position. But if you're interested and you think you have the profile, please just send us, you know, the uh, resume to contact at latamestartups.org. Uh, so Jonathan has a question. So hi, uh, uh, can we connect through Twitter? We can follow each other. Yeah, for sure, no problem, uh, Jonathan. We kind of are going to check your, uh, you know, Twitter account. For sure, we can do that. Um, any other question that uh, somebody here um, has about our programs or the information that I have, you know, passed today? I'm going just to give a few seconds here uh, before we finalize, uh, you know, our conversation here today. Uh, but in case somebody is maybe thinking in a question or, uh, you know, posting a comment about the information that I just passed, I also want to say and remind, uh, you know, people that are coming to our community that uh, we are supported by the government of Canada for the most of the programs that we have. We have uh, local support, we have uh, Ontario, you know, as a provincial support and a federal support for our programs, which, you know, is helping us to do much better in uh, providing services through the programs for startups that are becoming a part of our community. Yes, uh, so Alexander, that's a very good question. We actually have a startups from Asia and the MENA region. Um, so that I mentioned at the beginning, I'm, I'm sorry, you probably had a problem with the link entering at the beginning, uh, but yes, we do have, you know, status from uh, those regions. So it's very excited also to, uh, you know, work with them uh, as part of our community. Anyone else has any other question maybe? I know some of you are probably thinking in uh, posting something, but 
In the meantime, um, again, uh, you know, the other um, maybe important thing that I want to say today is that we also have a YouTube channel. Um, in our YouTube channel, you will see short videos and also, you know, some of the experiences of our startups that have passed through the programs. Uh, so if you want to connect with them, just please do. Uh, they are our best, uh, you know, uh, um, allies, you know, when, when we talk about the programs, we nor normally like them also to kind of say something to you guys, because, uh, you know, who else can say better than the startups that have gone through the program. Um, so guys, if no one else has any other question, then I think we can leave it here. Um, and really thank you for, you know, coming to the webinar and for those that were waiting, uh, you know, at the beginning, thank you for that. Um, please connect with us. Uh, if you have any other question, uh, send it by email or, uh, you know, just in, in YouTube, you can do that too. Yeah, the recording is going to be available, Alexander. So we are going to send the recording very soon. Uh, once I finish here, uh, this will be done and then you will get a recording. So thank you again for being here. And um, yeah, no worries. Uh, thank you for being here. And I hope to see you in any other event very soon. Thank you, guys. Bye.